hello. Um, I just wanted to share a word with you about um, something that God that uh, God told me. Uh, I had a dream that I was we were fighting. The body of Christ was fighting this battle, and um, I in the dream I was uh, getting sidetracked by these like little trinkets or whatever these little knickknacks and as i was getting sidetracked uh the body of christ were fighting this battle and they started to lose but it's weird like in the dream it felt like we could win but um when i woke up i heard the lord say the enemy that you're fighting is fear is fear and this creature in the dream was pushing back God's people. But so, this is like a month or so ago, he told me the enemy that you are fighting, that the his people are fighting right now, it's fear. And I was just so, it's so interesting because like, it, it cut me to the heart. Like, I mean, I was like, yeah. I mean, think about it. They, the, in the news and just like you don't you, it's not that you're witnessing these things firsthand or maybe there are some scary events that you are witnessing but as a whole i feel like uh we're spammed with the news and the world and just everybody just all sorts of things that come from the realm of thought and I feel like and when we're afraid, we're not trusting the Lord. So let me go ahead and give you a scripture uh, that I think that will help you. So here it goes. Isaiah chapter 41, starting at verse, let's start at verse 8. But you, O Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, descendant of Abraham, my friend, people of faith, I brought you from the ends of the earth. I called you from its farthest corners. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen and not rejected you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will surely help you. Look how he says that, like Jesus. He's like, truly, truly. I mean, this is, he's like, I will surely help you. I will uphold you with my hand, or my right hand of righteousness. Behold, all who rage against you will be ashamed and disgraced those who contend with you will be reduced to nothing and will perish you will seek them but you will not find them those who wage war against you will come to nothing for i am the lord your god who takes hold of your right hand and tells you do not fear i will help you do not fear, O worm of Jacob, O few men of Israel, we are few. But he's telling us, do not fear. Think about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they were approaching that furnace, because they refused to bow down and worship the king of Babylon, but even as they approached the fire, the furnace was blazing. They were like, God is able to deliver us out of your hand. But even if he doesn't, we're not bowing. So I just wanted to encourage you like the Lord's been encouraging me. There's a lot of fear. But, but the Lord is telling us, do not be afraid. I will surely help you. I will surely. And he's called us. He's chosen us. He's not going to abandon us. So be strong and take courage. 
I know that if God has called you, he's been doing, he's been doing things in your life that you can't explain. He's put you in a position that of, of, uh, of security and rest. Don't fear. Don't, don't be quickly like afraid when you hear some news, because I believe that this is a strategy of the enemy. He wants you to be afraid. He wants you to make hasty decisions. He wants you to wants to move you from that place of rest that God has brought us to. And we are called to rest. Um I hope that uh that you will stand strong with me and not be afraid. And yeah, we are few. I'm not sure that there are very many believers of um, people of faith left, but God will deliver us. He will deliver us. He will protect us. He's on our side. See, the world rejected the gospel. So many will be saved, but as a whole, and this, we knew that this would happen. The word talks about it. I mean, how few there be that find it but i believe in god's grace he's going to save many i mean think about in revelation he saw a multitude of people you couldn't even count them all worshiping the lamb before his throne be brave take courage don't be afraid when you see a a, a crazy article in fact if the articles are moving you Perhaps you shouldn't be taking it in. Just say, just think like this. The, Jesus said that the eye is the lamp of the body. Whatever you take in, that's what you're going to be filled with. If your eye is good, your whole body is going to be filled with light. No, I just want to add one more thing. I was, uh, I was struggling greatly like a couple of weeks ago and I, and I remember I was like, Lord, man, this is really hard. And I, you know, I've been praising the Lord. But one thing I, I, he got me to this point where I was like, Lord, I can't figure this out. I need your wisdom. And I opened his word. He gave me just a word, man. I mean, a couple of words. And it just, it, it gave me victory over the situation. Like he gave me, he put, he gave me light. And it's just to say, if you're having some kind of issue, uh, go to God because he, he will give, like, if you come to him with an honest heart, you're like, I need wisdom. He's going to share it freely. And he said, ask, 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 and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Our God his hand is open to us. His hand is open. And while the world's hand, the world, they give and they take away, right? They give and they have no, and, and eventually what you have will be taken. But when God gives something, he doesn't take it. When he open, his hand is open to his people and he's gracious. He tells us, ask, ask. James even said it, his brother in the, in the flesh. He's like, you don't have because you don't ask. If you need wisdom, ask. If you want joy, ask. If you want victory, ask. If you want to be with him in eternity, ask. Ask him. Turn to him and you, you're going to be healed. And I'm just, I'm saying this as an encouraging word because I was struggling so much. But as soon as I got on my knees, I'm like, Father, help me. He came through. Ask and do not be afraid. Have a good one.